Thank you very much. Hi. Hi, my name is Yakov Smirnov. As you know, I'm originally from Russia. And uh, now I'm married to an American woman. Anybody, um, anybody here married? Applaud if you're married. <laughs> I'm married to a woman from Oregon. Anybody here from Oregon? <laughs> Do you know Linda? I am so excited about being married, but marriage is an interesting thing. No one tells you certain things about marriage. Like, for example, everyone says that man becomes the head of the family. No one tells you that woman becomes the neck of the family. <laughs> and she turns the head anywhere she wants. <laughs> Five years later, now we have two children, and uh, I love being a dad. It's so exciting. You know, I, I never expected to do things like changing diapers. I like doing them. <laughs> and we use cloth diapers because it's good for the environment, not the environment in your own home. <laughs> it's like having toxic waste dump in your home. We have friends over, I go, this is our bedroom, this is our kitchen, and this is Chernobyl. <laughs> I believe that kids been put on this planet to teach you something that no one else can, is that unconditional love. When your child hugs you, so what if 10 minutes ago she shaved a cat? <laughs> it was ugly anyway. <laughs> and it's not our cat. <laughs> but this is where the clash of cultures happens. See, you kind of fall back on what you know from your childhood. Alexander, our little one, is now seven months old, and he's teething. He's sucking his thumb. So in Russia, we put pepper on kids' thumb to discourage them. I did in front of my wife. This is, she said, this is the most barbaric thing I've ever seen. You don't put pepper on baby's thumb. You put Tabasco sauce on. <laughs> I think kids are so great. I would love to have a lot of kids, but uh, after Alexander was born, we were sitting, Linda and I, discussing birth control. And she said, Yaakov, you know, one of us should consider having a vasectomy. <laughs> I knew who the one was. <laughs> I called the doctor next day, and I was in panic, and he said, look at the bright side. If you have a vasectomy, you can make love every day. I said, doctor, can you put that in writing? <laughs> Honey, I'm not being pushy. I have a prescription. My father-in-law gave me some of his tips. It's, uh, he came over and said, Yaakov, enjoy your children now, because now they think you're great. A couple of years from now, they'll think you're a real geek. <laughs> I said, how do you know that? He said, because I'm going to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said to me, so now there's no more communist party in Russia. What are you going to make jokes about? I said, don't worry. Who needs KGB when you have in-laws? <laughs> I, I want to share with you one, uh, one thought, that when I went back to Russia not too long ago, I realized something that I forgot. When you write a letter to someone in Russia, you have to put the name of the country first, then the name of the city, the name of the street, the name of the person comes in last. I'm very happy that I'll be raising my children in a place where people always come first. Thank you and good night. Just for laughs, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. I love women, man. I'm very particular about the girls I date. I only date really petite girls, because they only cost like six bucks to get them drunk. <laughs> so fish think about nothing, 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 all the time, nothing. Maybe every once in a while they go, man, I'm wet and I don't have any arms.